Let's do a video for X Plane. So I've owned X Plane for a while, but I finally got the time to install it and then I downloaded additional scenery, more aircraft, adjusted the settings repeatedly. In other words, all the stuff that you do <laughs> when you have X-Plane. So the scenery I'm looking at today is uh, the Kopoda Islands in Thailand. We are in Thailand today, so Sawadee Krap. Kun Sabai Mai. Stefan uh, Schroen is the developer of this software. Or, I'm sorry, of this uh, scenery. Stefan Schroen. And this is freeware scenery that you can get from xplane.org. Uh, today, I am flying the Sikorsky S76 uh, badly. This is the default helicopter in X-Plane 11. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with helicopters. And the times that I have flown helicopters, I had the I had a, a, a collective control. I had a collective. And when you have a collective, when you pull up, you go up. And when you push down, you go down. And you don't even have to think about it. I don't have anything like that set up in the kinetic motion flight simulator, so I <laughs> have to retrain my brain, and I'm getting it backwards a lot of times with the way I move the throttle. There is so much to see in this scenery. Let's see if I can... Uh, I know I can't hover very well. Let's fly slowly past this little flight school. This is... a little helicopter flight school that uh, Stefan put the, uh, the logo from Hellasimmer on it. Stefan, he, he got some help on this from uh, several people, so he, he thanked them by, by referencing them inside <laughs> the actual scenery. So that's uh, Sergio's uh, Hellasimmer logo on that hangar. He puts out a... Uh, a blog. He produces a, a blog about helicopter flying in flight simulators. To really enjoy the scenery, well, actually, to even just to sp start the flight in this area, you'll need a helicopter or a seaplane, float plane, or a boat. I think I think you can actually install a boat in X-Plane and drive it around? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not the DIY boat guy. Oh, oh, see? See what I mean? Not very good at the helicopters. So here we have a radio station. Oh, come on now. <laughs> wow. So here we are. This is the radio station. Uh-oh. Uh, up. There we go. Uh, you know, if this flight ends suddenly and we end up taking a swim, at least the water's warm. The 
This is Bell Geo's private island. He puts out, uh, he produces a ton of uh, YouTube videos about the world of flight simulation. Now, Stefan's story is pretty interesting. Uh, he has, of course, been to these islands in real life. Uh, or maybe lived here for a short time. He spent a lot of time here and had friends here. And these are friends that he lost during the uh, terrible, terrifying tsunami in 2004. These were people, his friends, that he never heard from again. If you don't remember that tsunami, it was arguably one of the worst natural disasters in modern times. You know, over 220,000 people, over 220,000 people lost their lives. 14 different countries were affected by this. And yet you never hear about it. At least I don't hear about it where I live. Every year the anniversary of this terrible disaster comes up and no one seems to mention it or even know anything about it. So this is Stefan's way to remember his friends. He created the scenery to honor their memory. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you see that? My computer kind of hung up there for a second. That's the other thing you do with X-Plane. You push everything to the limit. <laughs> what you see here is how Stefan remembers these islands before the tsunami. So in this case, our flight simulators, our flight simulators do more than just fly. In this case, it's, it's like they're a time machine. And this time machine can take us back to happier times. I already got the uh, controls backwards again. By the way, this S-76 is a very, very capable aircraft. Let me give it some power here, see if I can catch up with that float plane. Mm, I don't think so. He's too fast. I've made some minor changes with the uh, kinetic flight simulator to help uh, really with the control authority. I, I made some adjustments with the uh, bell cranks. The bell cranks and the levers, and I uh, changed the position of the cables slightly. Next up, 
Yeah, see? There it is. I was flying the helicopter like an airplane and I pushed the throttle the wrong direction. The next thing I'd really like to try, I mean, after flying helicopters, uh, I'm sorry, after after flying uh, airplanes, fixed wing airplanes a little bit here in, uh, in X-Plane, I need a mechanical elevator trim control. So I have some ideas for that, and I hope to incorporate that soon into the uh, the motion frame here okay let's um, let's see how badly I can land this thing it's time to humiliate myself There are several helipads to choose from. Some larger than others, that's something you might want to keep in mind. Here's one. Oh, by the way, I uh, have been, I played around with the uh, some of the static airplanes. Uh, hold on. No, no, no. Okay. Extend landing gear. Oh, come on. Extend landing gear. There. If you see a static airplane that's someplace it shouldn't be, that's not Stefan's fault. That's, that, that's me messing around with the... Uh, the settings. All right, let me point my nose into the wind here. Try not to hurt anybody. Instead of a landing, this is probably going to be more like a drop and flop. just a little bit. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I had it. I had it, and then I had to move it just a little bit more. I screwed it up. All right, let's, let's get a let's look at our outside view here. All right. There it is. Copoda scenery. I'll put links in the uh, description. 